Welcome to Chopping It Up With T. My name is Terrence Dudley, T for short. This show, Chopping It Up With T, is my way of giving back. In the coming episodes, I'll be talking to people who've quote-unquote made it on how they consistently hit the mark despite adversities. In this episode, I use myself as an example. Growing up, I was in love with music. Ever since I can remember, there's always been a song in my head for every moment of my life. Naturally, that led to me playing instruments, starting with a three-string guitar that my dad had laying around the house, and then tinkering on the piano whenever I went by my grandmother's house. As I got older, I played in bands. Then after high school, I decided, okay, well, let me make this my profession. That was a decision that was met with a little bit of opposition. (laughs) It was often said to me, oh, it's hard to make it in that profession. I mean, you should have something to fall back on. So I did. I went to college, yet in my second semester, I got my opportunity. A chance meeting with a record producer eventually led to me submitting songs for his artists. One thing led to another. I remember a lot of cold days and nights walking up that hill with little to no money in my pocket. And at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm newly married with a child. <laughs> uh, needless to say, you know, raising a family and maintaining my dream were constantly in conflict. Through the ups and downs, though, I, you know, I forged ahead and, and I made my dreams and, and uh, miraculously we ate every day. Unfortunately, uh, you know, my career advanced and my home life kind of suffered, uh, which ultimately led to me, you know, getting a separation and divorce. You know, yet through it all, I kept pursuing my dreams, which were now, you know, taking care of my family financially, which was a good thing. I've heard it said that when one door closes, another one always opens. And, uh, you know, through some of my darkest times, I've had some of my biggest triumphs. I just kept believing in myself and reading the biographies and autobiographies of successful men and women. One piece of advice I can give is just every day, do something towards your goals. No matter how big or small, just do something and you get there.